All right, another example here of solving a trig equation. So here we're going to uh, find all solutions to tangent squared x equals 1. And the way that I'm going to do this, um, well, again, this is tangent of x quantity squared equals 1. Well, if something's being squared, uh, I'm just going to, to get rid of the square, we can just take the square root of both sides. But again, uh, we have to put a positive and a negative um, on one side or the other. So the square root of tangent squared, we'll just write tangent x equals positive or negative 1. Okay, so now we have to figure out all places where tangent x either equals positive 1 or where tangent of x equals negative 1. But again, if you remember kind of unit circle stuff, um, at pi over 4, we get root 2 over 2 comma root 2 over 2. Well, tangent is simply defined to be sine over cosine. Well, sine would be root 2 over 2. Cosine would be root 2 over 2. So uh, one of our solutions would be at x equals pi over 4. So tangent of pi over 4 gives us 1. Likewise, down in the third quadrant, um, that'll be another angle that works, because there on the circle, um, now the x-coordinate is going to be negative root 2 over 2, and the y-coordinate is also going to be negative root 2 over 2. But again, if we take that y-coordinate, so sine of uh, this angle over cosine of this angle, again, that'll be another uh, solution, because again, we'll get positive 1. So what angle is this now is the question. Well, okay, uh, if we've gone halfway around, that would be the angle pi. And then we would have to go another pi over 4. So that would give us x equals 5 pi over 4. That would be another solution. All right, um, again, uh, let's maybe, uh, you know, at some point too, I'm going to have to start thinking about, you know, do I need to add or subtract, you know, either 2 pi or maybe pi. What exactly do I need to do to get all solutions? But uh, first, I'm going to solve this other part. So tangent of x equals negative 1, I think that's going to happen at the other angles. Uh, so at 3 pi over 4, recall at the angle 3 pi over 4, now the x-coordinate will be negative root 2 over 2. The y-coordinate is positive root 2 over 2. But if we take that y-coordinate over that x-coordinate, uh, we'll get negative 1. So x equals 3 pi over 4 will be a solution. <clears throat> and also down here in the fourth quadrant, uh, now we'll get root 2 over 2 and negative root 2 over 2. Well, again, if we take uh, that y-coordinate divided by that x-coordinate, we'll get negative 1 for tangent. Well, let's see. Um, if you go all the way around, that's 2 pi. Or equivalently, we could write that as 8 pi over 4 if we get common, you know, excuse me, if we multiply top and bottom by 4. But we didn't go 8 pi over 4, we went 1 less. So we went one pi, 8 pi over 4 minus 1 pi over 4. That would give us the angle 7 pi over 4. Okay, so at this point, um, you know, as long as my angle is either, uh, you know, equivalently at, at, at pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, or 7 pi over 4, Again, I could start adding 2 pi uh, or subtracting multiples of 2 pi to any of those angles to get um, a solution. But really notice, I think a more succinct way of writing this is we could say let x equal pi over 4 plus, well notice to go from pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4, we would just add really pi over 2. Um, we're going kind of a change of 90 degrees. If we add another multiple of pi over 2, we would be at this angle in the uh, quadrant 3. If we add another pi over 2, well, we would be at this angle in quadrant 4, etc. Likewise, we, we could subtract, uh, you know, pi over 2 radians. And again, that's just going to move us uh, either, you know, sort of clockwise or counterclockwise. So really, I think we can say solutions to this equation, the original equation, tangent squared equals 1. We can say solutions to that equation would be x equals pi over 4, and then we could write plus uh, pi over 2 times n, again, where n is an integer. Okay, so just a more compact way of writing all the solutions.